You're watching Practical AI. Last time, we connected Python to a llama and sent it a single prompt. It worked, but it was like talking to someone with amnesia. Today, we'll fix that by adding memory so Olama remembers your conversation and acts like a real chatbot. LLMs are stateless by design. Olama, just like other language models, is stateless. That means it doesn't hold on to anything from one request to the next. Every time we send a prompt, it starts fresh, with no idea what came before. Each request is independent. Think of each request as a blank sheet of paper. You write your question, send it off, and Olama replies. Once that reply is finished, the paper gets thrown away. If you ask another question, it has no memory of the first one. So if we want Olama to remember, we have to give it the full conversation history every single time. That means all the user questions and all the assistant answers get bundled together and sent again with the next request. So let's expand our script. We'll go from a single prompt to a loop where every message is saved and reused. This part is the same as before. I just introduced this new variable host. This creates our sheet of paper. Right now, it only has one note written at the top. Respond like a pirate in less than three sentences. That's the system message. It tells Olama how to behave. Each time we talk, we'll keep adding new lines to this sheet, user messages and assistant replies. And on every turn, we hand the whole sheet back to Olama. That's how it remembers what was said before. Here's how we stop our sheet of paper from getting too heavy. We set max turns to 12, meaning we only keep the last 12 question and answer pairs. The trim conversation function does the cleanup. It keeps the very first line, the system instruction at the top, and then only the most recent turns at the bottom. Everything in the middle gets dropped. That way we don't overload Olama, but we still keep enough history for it to remember the flow of the chat. This loop is where the real chat happens. This part adds some simple commands for our chat. If I hit enter without typing, the loop just skips. If I type slash exit or slash quit, the program stops. And if I type slash reset, it clears the whole sheet of paper. We keep only the very first system note at the top. That means the assistant forgets everything we said before and starts fresh. Handy if you want to restart the conversation without closing the script. Each time I type something, it's added to our sheet of paper as a new user line. Then we hand the whole sheet back to Olama with client.chat. Olama writes its reply, we print it, and then add that reply back onto the sheet. Finally, we call our trim function to tear out the oldest notes if the paper is getting too long. That's how every turn builds on the last, and Olama remembers the conversation. Here's the script we wrote last time. It takes one input, sends it to Olama, and prints the response. After that, the program ends. But what if I want to ask a second question right after the first one? Right now, the script stops after one response. Let's modify it so we can type in two prompts, one after the other. All we need to do is duplicate the block of code that collects input, sends it to the model, and prints the output. The first block handles the first prompt, and the second block handles the follow-up. Now we've got two identical sections, one for each input. Let's run this. First, I type, hi there, I'm Peter. Then I type, what is my name? This time it doesn't remember. The second input is treated completely separately. That's because each block is a fresh request, with no memory of what came before. Let's try out our new script. Remember, the system message tells Olama to respond like a pirate in less than three sentences. So not only should it remember, it should stay in character. The assistant replies like a pirate, and it also stores the fact that I introduced myself as Peter. This time, it remembers exactly what I said earlier. In the old script, it forgot instantly. Now, with memory, it recalls my name and answers in the same pirate voice. If I reset, the pirate character stays because the system message is still there, but it forgets my name and everything else from our chat. And that's it. In just a few extra lines of code, we've turned Olama from a one-shot prompt tool into a chatbot that actually remembers what you say. Super simple, but really powerful. If you found this helpful, hit subscribe, because what's coming next will blow your mind.
we're about to take this even further, beyond the terminal and into a full interactive experience. Thanks for watching.